When you do an AKG in a hospital, do they tell you right away what the results were? It was an EKG. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think it was an EKG. That was a Polish EKG. <laughs> I think it was an echocardiogram, actually. Echocardiogram. And they didn't tell me results right away, but I did ask her if she could see my liver, because I was curious if it had grown back. Oh, because it was like a... Uh... It's an ultrasound. Oh, okay. And she said that she didn't, she wasn't trained in the liver area, hers is only about the heart, but she was using it here to film up at my heart, and she couldn't see my heart because the liver was there blocking her view. Oh, so it grew bigger than it was before. I don't know. I think uh, your liver is fully regrown by now, which is absolutely amazing. The only organ in human body that can regrow and reproduce itself. Not reproduce, regrow. Yes, regrow. It's like a lizard. It's like a lizard? Yeah. If you throw away part of the tail, it just regrows? Yep. So maybe I'm really a lizard person. So, ironically, this is why we're opening today, talking about your hospital visit from this morning, because that first giant surgery you went through... Oh, here's food. Here's the Thank you. Ironically, that first giant surgery you went through, where they cut off half of your liver, now seems like actually less invasive and less, you know, pain in the ass one than... What you're about to go through this one day? No. Well, they said that one was more dangerous. But this one seems more painful to me just because of all the drains and everything. Up till the last moment, I was somehow magically hoping that uh, maybe this could be avoided, but apparently it's happening and it can't be avoided. You were thinking it would be avoided? Yeah, like part of me was just not accepting it. On the other hand, a lot of people did go through it before and they're okay, so the best we can do is hope there's not going to be any complications and you'll recover fast just like you did after the first one. But it's scary to think about. And it's this Monday. Tomorrow we're shooting a wedding. Sunday is the last day to take a breath and Monday it's happening. That's the game plan for now. Luckily guys, there are good things happening too today, not only depressing things. Um, if you haven't watched... Wait, where are my glasses? Okay, much better now. There's a lot of sun coming here in the evening, so uh, it's nice with the sun. That's why you need the glasses. Glasses are not only for looks, they're actually a necessary accessory sometimes. If you haven't watched any of our vlogs from Poland, I encourage you to do so. They are really great, especially the first one where, I'm, where we are walking around uh, my hometown. It's really one of my favorite episodes ever. Uh, when we were in Poland, we were interviewed but by one of my cousins. One of my cousins works for a magazine. He actually, he's a journalist. He works for a magazine, he writes articles and he wrote an article about us. That I'm going to uh, quickly show you right now. Here it is, take a look. Isn't that crazy? There's a shadow on it from the window. So it's a two-page spread about our adventure of uh, 2015 when we went for the uh, famous and crazy road trip across the entire America and some more things uh, related to our travels and our philosophy and our visit in Poland in my hometown of Tarnowskie Góry. This is very well written and uh, I just never expected us to be in a magazine so it's kind of crazy to see ourselves in a real magazine, two-page spread. Simon or Shimon in Polish, thank you so much. Great job, you really um, wrote it very well. I mean, I may be biased here a little bit, but <laughs> I think this is very well written and I like it a lot. So, uh, very flattering, thank you so much. And with this positive accent, I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you guys so much for your attention. 
Hope you enjoyed this one. We will come back tomorrow. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Good night. So I have to do everything in the house that requires uses of my arms because after Monday I won't be able to use them very much. Are you gonna wipe my butt for me? <laughs>